Back now with an unprecedented look inside the juvenile justice system in Hampton Roads with the stories from the underage offenders themselves. 10 on your side's Don Roberts has been working on this for months. And finally, the city of Newport News agreed, but only if we did not show their faces. Tonight, inside the system, a candid conversation about how they got behind bars and how they plan to change everything when it's time to get out. Hundreds of vehicles cruise past this intersection at 25th and Huntington in downtown Newport News every day. And I'm wondering how many drivers know or care that in that single story building behind me, there are about 70 children between the ages of 12 and 17. Each one has been accused of or has been convicted of a crime. Welcome to Juvenile Jail. The official name is Newport News Juvenile Detention. New arrivals pass through three steel doors, then see this sign painted by previous residents. Today is not the end, it's the first day of the rest of your life. We want them to know that there's always a positive outlook, no matter what you deal with in life. Several more doors, and then the teen ends up here. The good news, at least 40 of the 110 beds are empty. The current population at Newport News Juvenile Detention Center, 66 children ages 12 to 17, 56 male, 10 female. The charges and convictions range from misdemeanors to felonies, shoplifting to murder. I went through a lot of abuse. Uh, my mother went through a lot of abuse. I had to witness it because I was in the same house. Problems at home, a common theme. I did like to listen to my mom and stuff like that. I'm just here for like making the wrong decisions, like following the wrong crowd. On the day of our visit, this 17 year old was one of a handful to have a visitor. He agreed to talk with us with his mother at his side. Tell me about the choice you made and why you made it. Well, basically, I felt like I was protecting myself. Well, what's going on in your mind as you are in here? with your mom sitting beside you. She got all the hopes and dreams in the world for you. Well, it's a hard one. He do make bad choices, but as a parent myself, I'm, you know, I'm gonna support him regardless. This teen will be released one day. And Jared Grimes says family support counseling and motivation are the keys to help ensure he does not come back. Part of this program is to get community services, parents, family, extended family involved so that the residents have a good support system when they do go home. And volunteers like Glenn Sorrentino and Rebecca Smith with a face-based group called the Royal Rangers are here every week these boys remind me of my own children. And Reverend Julius Hayes lectures the boys in class. So as you call me the hustler, I'm gonna hustle this knowledge too. Teaching them to turn their troubles around and realize their dreams. I wanna be a chef when I get older. I wanna own my own restaurant. And I feel when I do that, then I can be able to help, help others. Don Roberts, 10 on your side. And Don says a big concern is many of the teens will return to troubled homes and neighborhoods, but officials at the detention center say they are ready to help families with support and professional services after the teens are released.